We're so fortunate to be performing um, on this occasion, a Mawlid and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I think, you know, once you come to the concert, once you attend the concert, you'll see that actually the entire event, the entire performance is in celebration of the Muhammadian Barakah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is actually all coming from him. I feel very privileged, very um, honoured to be performing. I was uh, approached um, informally at first, then more formally later, later on, uh, quite early on, um, at an early stage. And so I've had some time to think about the content, the music. Essentially, I'm, I'm composing uh, 60 minutes of brand new content, brand new music that um, is telling a story of the uh, Silk Road, but also the wider uh, region. And somehow it's applicable to our day as well, to where we are today. For me, I'm a composer. You know, from the very beginning, I have always, I composed my music, my al album Al Mu'allim, I produced it, I played all the instruments. For me, it, this is a musical project that is glorifying the sacred and glorifying uh, that which I hold to be sacred. What I think is that there's a lot of great talent out there, but before anybody wants to learn chanting, first, you know, it's important also to um, not, you know, the intention is really important. Don't, don't get into it for, for, for the commercial side. Try to learn the adab of this. Try to learn the adab of, um, of music. Learn, try to learn some maqams. Try to learn the maqamat. Try to study. And uh, because it has become quite commercial from what I can see. Um, and I, I find a lot of nice voices. There's a lot of great talent, mashallah. So honesty, wallahi, mm -hmm. I generally don't listen to that much contemporary stuff. I don't. Um, if you're talking like generically, there's so much amazing talent, you know, in the Arab world and in Turkey and in the world in general. There's beautiful voices. But I'm, I don't really listen to that much Contemporary music, unfortunately. There's so much incredible talent in the... Uh, we're talking about Arab world. Uh, I like everybody. They're all great. They have beautiful voices. Um, and uh, some of them I know in person. Very respectable. Kadim, for example. You know, really, he's a gentleman. Um, um, very eloquent. And I love that he sings in Fusha as well, which is amazing. And also the greats, you know, Um Kurtu. I listened to that. I was a kid listening to this music. Riyadh al Sumbati and all the greats, you know, uh, Abdul Wahab, uh, Abdul Wahab, all these other great uh, composers and poets. Uh, yeah, I grew up with it. Um Kurtum, Abdul Halim, you know, uh, Asmahan, um, Farid al Atrash, you know. <laughs> Myself, what I want to do is I'm, I've actually set up an academy. I haven't launched it yet. I'll be launching it in the next day or two. So you'll be the first to know. And this basically is about, you know, um, sharing what I've learned. And we have world-class instructors teaching traditional music. I haven't been to the pavilions yet. I've heard so much. I've heard about Thailand. Amazing. Italy. Amazing. Everyone, all amazing. The UAE has, Dubai and the UAE has turned what would otherwise have been a kind of boring experience of, you know, trade, focused on trade, uh, an event focused on trade and business and, you know, a little bit boring. They've turned that into something spectacular, a great, great, great show. And all the planes are packed, hotels are booked, packed. Everyone's coming for this and we're so delighted to be part of it. Barakallahu feekum. Thank you so much.
ورا الحق وأنورا وقف الروح وما صار إذ أبى وحدك يا طه صلى الله على طه خير الخلق